Is the coronavirus getting better or worse? Now, if you're like me, you're looking around, you're seeing plenty of people going about their business wearing masks and plenty of people going out without wearing masks. In stores, out of stores, restaurants, all around. I actually live in a multi-state area, so I've seen the variations as you go and the differences between the governors and such where they have the different rules depending what state you go into. Now, with that being the case, it definitely appears that things are getting better, at least in my eyes. But I, I'd look back at things such as the influenza cases. Now, I know a lot of people say it's not like a flu, but yet it's coming in like a flu. But let's take a quick look back and uh, like 2015 through 2016, the cases, approximately 23,000 people in the U.S. died, according to the CDC. In 2016 and 17, we're talking 38,000 approximately. The 2017 to 18, 61,000 approximately died. 2018 to 2019, 34,200. And in 2019 to 2020, as of right now, we're showing between 24,000 and 62,000 in deaths due to influenza. Now, with the coronavirus, we're talking 7.22 million cases as of right now, and deaths at approximately 206,000. Now, the interesting part about this is, and I was looking into this, is the fact that influenza technically looks like COVID. And they're kind of interchangeable when it comes to the diagnosis, unless they really, really sink into it. But with that being the case, that's what that 24 to 62,000 means, that there's potentially some overlap. But what if it was even more? But you got to wonder. I mean, the truth of the matter is, yes, we've definitely seen some deaths. But with that being the case, I've talked to people. I've heard about different things around where I'm at, where hospitals are actually taking people in from various accidents and such. And people died. And instead of an accident, they also had COVID. So they put down the reason for death was COVID. Now, of course, that's hearsay because I wasn't the doctor doing the diagnosis or anything, but that's what I've heard. And I've heard this from various people, not just one or two or three sources. Now, with that being the case, yes, they technically had COVID, but they died from the accident. At least that one particular case, but there's multiples like that. So with that being the case, is it overblown and you got to wonder because places like sweden if you look at them they've had a really what they like to say is a light touch on the whole situation they're basically treating the people that are sick and they're not they're not putting a hold on the economies they're not putting all these lockdowns and stuff in place and as a result sweden has had a grand total of 92,000 466 cases as of right now and a total of 5,890 deaths which it's bad but not as bad as you would think so you got to wonder did Sweden have the right idea or do they have the right idea as far as just taking care of the people who are at risk and not putting the brakes on everything around basically concentrating all the efforts to make sure that the people who need to help get the help versus telling everybody everything has got to stop. I'm curious. Am I the only one that thinks this way? Because I think Sweden's got the right idea. I think they've had the right idea. I'd love to have seen what would happen here and in other places around the world if they had taken that same perspective. So... With that being the case, I'm asking you, 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 leave your opinion down below what you think. Or, if you don't feel like writing, that's fine. 
If you think I'm right on this one, give me a thumbs up. If you think I'm wrong, that everybody that says that we should just be hiding inside and that's it, give me a thumbs down. Let me know. And we'll see you on the next video. Watch some more if you'd like. Have a good day.